Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about food webs. All living things require energy in order to stay alive. One model for showing the flow of energy in an ecosystem is a food web. In simple terms, it is a diagram showing what everyone eats and who gets eaten. There are three points I'd like to discuss. The direction of the arrows in a food web, the 10% rule, and how impacting one part of the food web impacts the entire food web. In this soil food web, you will notice that there are arrows pointing towards the larger arthropod and away from the arthropod. Arrows pointing towards the arthropod indicate that energy is flowing towards the arthropod. So in this food web, the arthropod receives energy from the smaller arthropods and nematodes and the birds and animals receive energy from the arthropods. In simple terms, birds and animals eat arthropods and arthropods eat smaller arthropods and nematodes. The arrows always point towards where the energy is flowing. As one individual consumes another, you move up a trophic level. The 10% rule states that each time you move up a trophic level, only 10% of the energy is passed to the new level. So when the mollusk eats algae, you lose 90% of the energy. Then the, when the perch eats the mollusk, only 10% of this energy is passed on. And finally, when the bass eats the perch, only 10% of the energy is passed on again. And finally, when you impact one part of a food web, you impact the entire food web. Take a look at this simple food web. Change is a constant in any ecosystem. A new family of birds has moved into the park. They are hungry and love bugs. They eat lots of bugs. As a result, the population of bugs starts to drop. This is good for the grass because less insects are now eating the grass and over time more and more appears. The insect population drops because of so many new birds. Therefore, there is less food for the birds and their population also starts to drop. However, the zebras are happy because there is additional food for them and their population may increase. This process of rebalancing in a food web continues over and over again. So there we go, food webs and the flow of energy. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.